man nature and life are comixed a seed in a bird's droppings causes birth of a huge tree tree is dead and still standing scientists call it a snag all of its leaves are gone but that does not mean that there is no life there both inside and out there could be a wide variety of living creatures the sharp and perpetual snags facilitate nesting food and shelter to many tiny creatures more than 80 species of birds alone pick snags for nesting and resting and some 1200 forms of fauna rely on dead dying or rotted hollow trees let me unfold a true story for you i have witnessed the life of a east indian rose bee in my backyard i love white flowers i nurtured the white flowering tree White flowers are often given as a token of purity, humility, appreciation, innocence and express a truthful, clean and open heart. It brings lightness and brightness to the recipient's life. Tears rolled down my cheeks when I saw My favorite tree started dying. A farewell message was in the offing. The frequenters started neglecting it. Whole world isolated it. I too stopped going near it but viewed it through my window expecting it to come back into life, a fresh life. started observing a standing dead tree in my backyard to my surprise one day i saw a stranger bird came and sat on it first time i saw it here i don't know whether it was a migratory bird or not slowly it popped on it by inspecting inch by inch my anxiety grew My winged guest became a frequenter. How that bird came to know about this nag is still a mystery. It is not a woodpecker. After a little research, I concluded that it is the official bird of Mumbai, the coppersmith barbet or crimson-breasted barbet. The Coppersmith Barbet commenced its housing project. As a great architect, it walked along the snag, top to bottom, cross and across, probably in search of the best portion to carve out its nest. The entrance was so small that it could allow one bird of same size. At the same time, it is carefully made to prevent the entry of rainwater and sunshine.
The whole waste incurred while carving the nest was taken out and carried by its beak and flew to a far away place to a deposit. Neatness was maintained inside with bigger space to accommodate its offsprings. With relentless effort, it made a small portion of the snag a home. The coppersmith barbet, with crimson forehead and throat, which is best known for its metronomic call, that specifically reminds a coppersmith striking metal with a hammer. One may have never seen the coppersmith barbet, but its call is as familiar as the smell of the sea. It's a robust tuk, 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 that can be heard in the mornings over the sundry sounds of a city wakes into life. Finding a safe place for nesting and hatch their eggs and raise their young to the point of independence is a challenge birds have solved in many clever ways. The diversity of nest architecture has no equal in the animal kingdom. Nature may not bless a snag to come back into life. There cannot be a resurrection for it, people conclude. It is untrue. Life never ends here. A half dead or fully dead snag is always a delight for many creatures. The very nature that once granted life to a tree continues to support the snags to facilitate life. One day morning, I heard the juvenile call from the nest. I think there were at least two chicks in the nest. Both parents fed the chicks, mainly with fruits, probably figs. Feeding was somewhat interesting. Stood all odds like heavy rain, sun heat, chilly winter, etc. Howsoever extreme it will, the newborn is very safe inside the nest. Finally, that day came. The newborn poked its head out of the nest's entrance. All the time it was calling softly. I felt nature sends the message through this tiny plant, my wildlife tree.
many tiny creatures started visiting my wildlife tree for their dwellings. Many of them came and commenced their work on it. Communication among them was quick within a short time. Thus, the dead East Indian Rose Bay tree in my backyard emerged as a lively place. Life never ends. It only awaits space to perch upon. Snag is a divine wildlife dream.